Okay, so I've wanted to be able to do this for a long time on my Raspberry Pi 5. So when I've got various different drives connected, so in this case I've got an SSD drive connected via USB, I've got an NVMe drive and I've got an SD card in there, I want the choice for it to boot up from whichever one I want. And I can do that now. If I press the button to start it up and tap the space bar, I get a boot menu which allows me to select any drive to boot from. So you can see zero for default, one for SD card, two for network boot, four for USB, and six for NVMe. So I'm gonna hit six for NVMe and that will boot up KDE Plasma. And you can see that's booted up. But if I shut it down again, and this time I'm gonna press shift, so what that now is doing is downloading Raspberry Pi Imager into the RAM so I can write an operating system to any of the drives that are connected. It will take a while because it's got to download the program. So now that's finished I can choose a device. So Raspberry Pi 5, choose an operating system, so say Raspberry Pi OS Other, let's just go 64-bit light, choose storage and you can see I've got all three drives available to me so I can just click on that and write the operating system to that drive. So let's show you what happened before I made all the updates. So I've got an SSD connected via USB, I've got an SD card in here and I've also got an NVMe drive on here as well. So I've got three bootable drives. It's set on default settings so it's going to boot from the SD card. So if I press the button to boot it, it will switch on. And whether I press the spacebar or not, it will do the same thing at the moment. And that is to boot into Raspberry Pi OS from the SD card, which is in here. So let's make the necessary changes. So if we go into terminal and type rpi-eprom-update space dash a, and you'll see there is an update available. So to make that change, I just need to put sudo at the start and let it do its thing. Okay, so that's done. So now if I shut it down, and this time I can restart and just start tapping the space button. And you can see it makes no difference and it's still booted into Raspberry Pi OS. So the SD card has taken precedent and I found there was one more change that you needed to make. So we do control alt T and sudo raspi dash config. So we know about the usual things under advanced. So we've got boot order, but this doesn't give me what I want. So I want to be able to boot from my boot medium of choice. So whether it's an SD card, an NVMe or a USB drive. So if we go back from that, uh, under advanced options, network install UI. So if we select this and always display the UI for a few seconds after power on. And then finish. Now when I reboot, so if we say yes, I'll let it shut down. And then when it starts again, I keep hammering the space bar. So it's booted into the OS, but I think it needs to be shut down first. So I'm gonna shut it down. So now if I power it on, tap the space bar, that's what I wanted. So now I can choose what I want to boot. So I'm gonna select four for USB. And you can see that it will start to boot. And this is Supreme RetroPie, running from the SSD drive. And I haven't got any games on here at the moment, but you can see that it's working. So if I quit out of that, and shut down the system. If I do nothing when I restart it, it will just boot into the SD card, like so. But if I now shut down, I can restart, tap the space bar, and we get the boot menu again, so I can pick six for NVMe. And hopefully this will boot KDE Plasma from the NVMe drive. So do nothing for SD card, but press the space bar if we want to boot from SSD or NVMe. 
so I can now log in and use KDE Plasma. But also the drives that I've got here will show up. So I've got the SD card and also the USB drive. So if I want to write an operating system to it, I can. So it means that I don't have to unplug and plug things in as much. I don't have to put in an SD card and take out an SD card uh, when I want to boot from another medium. So yeah, it's definitely going to be a, a big time saver for me. Okay, so hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.